Um, this is going to be the deboxing of my very first um, middle Bly, Blythe cologne little sister. Um, and this came from an eBay store, uh, Siripore. And I'm not sure if that's how it's actually pronounced, but here we have it. Oh, and incidentally, when I first received it, I heard something rattling around and I was pretty concerned. Um, but as you can see, it's already untaped, so I already have done this much at least because I was worried about it being broken, but it wasn't broken. It's just this, thankfully. And she comes with this clover stand, just like a Takara Blythe. And she also has little teeny tiny boots in there. Okay. So, um, and here she is. And she comes with a little note that says, Midi doll, please be careful when changing her eye color. Always hold her head. Do not hold her body. She has small and slim body. <laughs> Holding her body while changing her eye colors will cause her neck to break. Yikes. That's no good. So we will be careful with her. Okay. And incidentally, I took a little sneak peek at her feet when I untaped the box and that's ridiculous. That is so tiny. Peep. Okay. Moving on. And by the way, all of her sisters are in attendance for this momentous occasion. I'm sure y'all, the viewing audience, is utterly enthralled with the untaping process. But, yeah, as you see, it's not terribly uh, fancy. Oh, there's some shedding and some hair stuck to tape, which is not ideal, but that's okay. Um, oh, cool. And her little headband thingy. She had one on, but it came off with the wrapping, which I'm ha kind of grateful for, because um, I hate getting those things off. But uh, leaving her with some lovely hairdo. Um, but yeah, this is a definite case of, um, box hair. Some serious box hair going on. Um, it's extremely <laughs> greasy. Um, I thought my hair got bad. Poor thing. But we will take care of that because, uh, she'll definitely be getting a hair treatment. Um, and incidentally, if anybody would like to share any hair treatment tips with me, I am open to suggestions always. Yes. So, um, but her hair is extremely long also, coming almost down to her uh, tiny little feet. And when this note says that her body is small, that's a, a bit of an understatement because it's so minuscule as to be almost non existent. For example, if you can find the hand in this dress, look at that. That is so tiny. Very cute. And, huh, it seems like she can actually kind of move her arms, not just forward, but out as well, um, enabling her to fly if she so chose, clearly. Um, which is cool though, because I wasn't expecting that much articulation in her limbs, I don't think. Um, but much like I had heard, her waist doesn't move and her knees do not bend. Whoa. Um, so, without further ado, let's check out her eye mechanism. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, um, because I am a little worried about breaking her, is I'm just going to fold her body like this and just sort of stabilize her head and neck like that. and. Let's see what happens. Huh, that was smoother than I expected, so that went well. Pretty blue. Aww. And a mischievous pink side glance, and she looks super cute like that. 
also green eyeshadow, if you can see that. Oh, really pretty bright aqua. Very nice. Looks great with that dark hair. And the um, gray side glancing. And because her eyes are gray and her hair is black, I will maybe name her Stormy. I think that works for her. Although, as far as the hair is concerned, I don't know. This is going to be my first customization attempt, and I don't know that I'll be keeping the hair as it is. I'm pretty sure it will be changing because it's really thin. I can just feel like, and when I move it, you can see that there's like fairly large spaces between the roots. Um, and now let me preface this by saying I know absolutely nothing about uh, rerooting a doll's hair. But, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong please, but I, it, it stands to reason maybe that you would have to use the holes available to you. Um, and there aren't very many of those in this case. So she might be a good candidate for a wig. Um, I don't know. Although I have seen some really pretty reroutes on Flickr accounts just by searching Midi Bly or Middle Bly or Midi Clone, etc. You can see some really adorable examples of some customizations. Something about when they use the mohair or the alpaca just gives them this really pretty soft look. And by the way, she's just, I think she's adorable. She, um, her cost was under $15 with shipping, so that's, that's just ridiculous as far as bargains go. It's such a good one, and I would highly recommend her to anyone. Um, uh, now, the clothing I was interested to see, because Takara always makes really cute clothes and really quality clothes, and uh, the fabric is super cheap in this case. It's a cute enough dress, but the fabric is all shiny and scratchy, and um, the back is a Velcro scenario, and actually not the best Velcro job I've ever seen at that, so, but you just kind of have to push it down and roll with it, I guess. But see, it's kind of awkwardly placed, um, and her collar doesn't really want to fold down in the back, but what, what can you expect for this price? <laughs> you know, having said, you know, cheap fabric and greasy hair aside, she's really a good bargain. She's cute. So, um, let's see what's under this dress. This itsy bitsy little body. I want children to leave the room since we're doing a little blithe after dark now. Um, this is the dress, by the way, by itself, and, you know, unlike the Takara dresses, there's no cute little apron or crinoline or anything extra. It's just what you see is what you get. This and these boots. Now, she herself, these legs, um, the hips kind of are pretty loose. I had uh, heard about that and actually even in the description it says that she's bobbly and I can see exactly why they would think that. Um, but it's, you know, it's neither here nor there since these feet don't really seem like they would support this head. Um, the body is really small and I know that's the aesthetic but this is a little bit over the top and I've seen some dolls, uh, actually a couple that had a Takara compact like a body that looked great and so I know that they're no longer in production so but I was going to try to find one. It might be a bit of a challenge but that's what I'm going to aim for and if anyone knows where to find one I would welcome that advice. Um, but yeah she's very cute and she just comes in these sort of little shorts. I don't think they have a opening so I guess you just have to pull them off if you're ready to change her. But um, but that's her. That's the little lady. And um, she's quite cute and the eye mechanism works well. She's definitely going to need a new body though. <laughs> and oh, she has a little eyelash stuck in her eye mechanism which is going to irk me to no end. So I'll probably have to trim that off or something. But anyway, that's Stormy. Say goodbye. Bye. And 
since uh, this is my first life video, I thought that I would introduce you to my other girls. Um, first we have Patina Poodle and La Mondrian Blythe. Um, though Patina is not technically a Blythe doll, she's very much a member of the family. They wouldn't know what to do without Patina and vice versa. So, but um, this was Mondrian was my first Blythe and the way that I acquired, well, my first Takara Blythe. My first Blythe was a Kenner. And I got her at an antique store for $12.50 um, before the book came out that made her super famous. <laughs> so um, at some point though, sadly, I needed some money, so I ended up selling her. And so I got the cash, which was much needed at the time, in addition to um, this first edition, Mondrian Blythe and Bettina Poodle and Trey. And it was so long ago that this doll had just come out, so it's been quite quite a number of years. I've had this Mondrian forever and a day. Um, next up was Hollywood Blythe, and then I got my Cinnamon Girl, and then of course there's Simply Peppermint, and Birdie, and Susie Sad Eyes, and Cassiopeia Spice, and Simply Lilac and a Jane West I inherited from a sibling, and a Littlest Pet Shop Blythe that turned out to be quite the quality little tiny doll for $10 um, when I had a Blythe emergency and I needed a fix <laughs> when, when shopping for groceries at Walmart one day. So these are the girls, and she'll be joining the pack very soon. So um, since this is my first customization, this little lady, any advice is much appreciated, and until next time, bye-bye.